Hi guys, so here's the deal. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got shy to do my opening part of the vlog in the parking lot. I know. So that means I didn't film it and I'm doing it now. But hi everyone, today's video is going to be me doing a part two to my DreamWorks Land vlog. I posted part one I think like a month ago and here we are for part two now in this vlog what you'll be seeing is everything that i didn't show you the first time around when i went the first time around i went at night and literally nothing was open the trolls troll coaster wasn't open the show wasn't running characters were not out and i didn't try the shrek soul but in this vlog i'm doing that it's a lot shorter of a vlog just because that's all i did i didn't tour the property like i did the last time if you guys want to see part one i'll link it up in the cards above and in the description down below also you'll see me back right here after the universal portion because i'm going to be talking a little bit about my full review on dreamworks land now that i've experienced everything but for now don't forget to subscribe ring the bell so you never miss another video follow me at victoria daisy every you can find me and let's go to universal so basically in this video I want to show you everything I didn't show you in part one, which is going on the Trolls Troller Coaster, seeing the show, meeting the characters, eating the food. Shrek comes back out at 1.15 and then I think the next showing for the show is 1.30? I think? I don't know. I have to check. But regardless, we're gonna get all of it done. Alright, we're gonna do the Trolls Troller Coaster. There's nothing more awkward than going on a kid's ride without a child in your group. Because I feel like all the little kids just stare at you like you look weird. <laughs> Okay, so I just met Shrek. That was honestly one of the most awkward experiences I've ever had with the character in my life. But I think it's because Fiona wasn't there. Whatever, it's fine. Now we're going to the DreamWorks Imagination Celebration Show. I'll find those stairs. Oh, the princess, she'll be up the stairs in the highest room in the tallest tower. again i'm back so now that we're here i wanted to give my fully in-depth review of dreamworks land now that we've covered everything in the property so let's start off by going section by section so when you enter dreamworks land the first area that you are greeted with is shrek now there's quite a lot to do actually the first thing that you can do when you walk in is meet shrek fiona and donkey and i did that this time around now i'm gonna be honest my experience was a little bit strange now over the years i have met so many characters between disney world universal so many characters now this Shrek interaction was definitely one of the strangest I've had. It was just weird. And I think the fact that I didn't get to meet Fiona and Donkey really hurt the experience because while Donkey is not a face character like Fiona, he still talks and interacts with the guest. And with Shrek not being able to talk, it was definitely strange. I'm not sure why Fiona and Donkey were not with him. I know they were greeting earlier and later in the day. I don't know why that was the only time they didn't, but hopefully I'll go again so I can meet them but the shrek interaction was definitely a little bit weird i did enjoy it in the sense that i did get to grab a really cool picture with shrek with my parents and we love good pictures so it don't matter then across the way you can go to the food stand and that is where i got the infamous shrekzel 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 i don't know how you say it one of those but basically it is a pretzel in the shape of shrek and you can get this really gross green nacho cheese dip i tried it and i'm not a fan of it i usually don't dip 
like pretzels and things like that into any sauce because I'm just not really like a sauce girl. I like my stuff plain Jane. But I did see that they also had marinara sauce available if you wanted to get that too. But as far as the pretzel goes, I thought it was really good. I love pretzels, so I knew I wasn't going to hate it at all. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Super salty. The bread wasn't hard at all. Very good. And they had a few other snack options there if you wanted to go get those, but I only had time to eat that. There is a playground and splash pad in the Shrek area, but I didn't record those in depthly only because there was a lot of kids and families there. And just out of respect for them, I didn't want to film. Moving right along into the trolls area this is probably my favorite area this is where they have the show and the ride now the color scheme and the aesthetics are absolutely a 10 out of 10 i love that vibe so for me this was heaven now the trolls troller coaster is the only ride in the dreamworks land area and specifically in the troll section i low-key had a lot of fun here. It's a kid's roller coaster. I get it, but it was kind of fast and whipped you around. It was a little concerning. Now, it's not intense, like I'm being dramatic. Oh my goodness, so scary. Look at me, but it was definitely a lot of fun, and I'd probably give it like a seven and a half out of 10. I think if I was younger, it would be a lot more thrilling and probably would inch like a 9 out of 10. And then across the way, you can go to see the show. I literally forgot what the show is called. I think the show is so fun for all ages. Me and my parents were vibing and had the time of our lives at the show. You get to see all the characters represented from each little section of this DreamWorks land area. And they sing songs. It's like a dance party. It's really creative and fun. I think the show is maybe 15 to 20 minutes and it's in the AC indoors, which we love love a great break from the florida heat i would probably give the show maybe an eight and a half out of ten like i honestly thought it was so much fun and the two actors that were singing and dancing they did a phenomenal job and also in the trolls area i would like to mention that there's a lot of seating opportunities in the shade if you guys need a break once again from the florida heat and there's another treat stand i don't remember what was there there was a really long line so i wasn't gonna wait in anything and moving right along to the final section in this dreamworks land area we have kung fu panda now if you guys remember from pre dreamworks land that used to be the curious george splash pad water park situation it was tucked in the back of the park literally nobody went but now it's rethemed to kung fu panda and i honestly think it was for the better i think if you're a family who has little ones and you want them to beat the heat and stay hydrated this is a perfect place to take them because it is literally one big splash pad there's a huge bucket that dumps on them there's a lot of little like areas with water and they do have like the big gong that you can try and ring like you have to like pull down on this lever thing and it never actually rings it it's like a strength test i think it's fun it was annoying and embarrassing when i realized that you couldn't actually like hit the gong even if you were trying hard it was really funny though another thing to keep in mind is if you or your child are like soaking wet after and you want to get dried up a little bit they do have those like drying machines all throughout the dreamworks land area in every single section themed to the area and i think it's so cool i think they're like maybe two dollars and i think you can be in there for like three to five minutes and it really dries you up it's a great option if maybe you have to leave the park to go back to your hotel or whatever the case may be well everyone that was my in-depth review on dreamworks land i think overall i would probably give it like a seven and a half out of ten i think it's a really great new area in the park it definitely seeks a lot of traction during the day. It wasn't super packed, but it definitely wasn't like empty at all. I definitely do think if you have little ones, this is a great place to take them. And even if you are a fan of any of these movies and want to check it out, I mean, it is so much fun. There's a lot of character meet and greet opportunities in the show. And if you want to get lit, go on the roller coaster. Once again, if you want to check out part one to my DreamWorks Land video, I'll link it up in the cards and in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe ring the bell so you never miss another video and follow me it's victoria daisy everywhere you can find me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye